Blonder Tongue is happy to help with the alphabet soup that exists in cable television technology. Today's topic will be Digital Interfaces. There are two types of SDI or Serial Digital Interfaces, HDSDI and SDSDI. Both are uncompressed as well as unencrypted, meaning without content protection. SDI was standardized by the Society of Motion Pictures and Television Engineers, which gives you a clue that you usually see SDI sources in the professional video production environment. HDSDI is for high-definition video formats of 720p and 1080i and provides a nominal data rate of 1.485 gigabits per second. SDSDI is for standard definition format of 480i and a nominal data rate of 270 megabits per second. Typically, a BNC connector is the interface type for both. Have an HDTV at home, you have an HDMI source and interface. HDMI stands for High Definition Multimedia Interface. Just like SDI, HDMI is uncompressed, but it has HDCP encryption for content protection. This proprietary high bandwidth digital content protection was developed by a consortium of companies. HDMI supports 8 channels of 24-bit uncompressed audio. It has a data rate of 10.2 gigabits per second and supports video resolution up to 4096 by 2160. HDMI is a consumer connection for transmitting encrypted uncompressed digital signals. It was developed to replace DVI, which we'll get into in a minute. HDCP is mandatory on all commercial content like Blu-ray DVDs, so an HDMI connection with an HDCP source cannot be qualm modulated in the clear. Sure you know from dealing with TVs, digital cameras, and phones, HDMI connectors come in a variety of sizes. This slide shows you the various types. Type A is the standard that's on most televisions. Type C is a mini HDMI that is usually on video camcorders. And Type D is the mini type you find on your phone or MP3 player. I'd like to take a minute to talk about component digital video. Component simply means a way of maintaining signal clarity by separating the components of a video signal so they don't interfere with each other. Digital component video is carried over HDMI as well as SDI computer interfaces like FireWire and MiniDV and DV tapes. However, when someone refers to component video, they usually mean analog. Digital component is usually referred to simply as digital. ASI is an asynchronous serial interface defined by the DVB consortium. It is most commonly used to connect cable head and equipment that transports either MPEG-2 or MPEG-4 transport streams prior to distribution over RF or IP networks. However, the latest generation of head and equipment is based on IP interfaces, so ASI is becoming less and less prevalent. ASI can carry one or multiple compressed SD, HD, or audio programs. There are two transmission formats, the 188-byte format, which is most common, and the 204-byte format when optional Reed-Solomon error correction data is included. The data rate is variable and is dependent on the application. DVI, or Digital Visual Interface, is the precursor to HDMI and was actually developed to replace the analog VGA, or Video Graphics Array, technology. This video-only standard was designed for very high visual quality on digital display devices such as LCD TVs and computers. The two types of DVI, single or dual link, have data rates of 3.96 or 7.92 gigabits per second respectively. In most CATV applications, a DVI to HDMI cable is used to display the DVI signal on an HDMI compatible TV. This diagram shows the steps to encode video and where the interfaces we've talked about fit into the system. First, the SDI or HDMI sources, they carry uncompressed signals, and then they're encoded into MPEG-2 or 4 transport streams. Multiple transport streams can be packaged into one ASI stream. Finally, the ASI is then qualm modulated for delivery over coax. There are two other alphabet soups available that can help here 
One is on the video encoding and the other is on transport streams. Here is a reference sheet you can use to see the interface types and the connectors associated with each. So as you know from before, we covered SDI, HDMI, ASI, and DVI. We hope this helped you with the alphabet soup that exists in our industry. Please see the support section of the Blondertongue website for more resources. In particular, a lookup summary of the various acronyms included here can be found in the Blondertongue reference guide. You can also request a hard copy of this pocket guide on the Publication and Request to Catalog page under the Support tab.